Welcome back to another video. Today we're back in the shop and we are back officially working on Ivan. Uh, and a few videos ago we were working on the bed in the back and I want to get back on that, finish up that project and then get a bunch of the cabinets hopefully built out. This bus has always been so close to being done but is just somehow still always a mile away from being done. So today we're going to be getting to these beds, get this thing framed out, get the hinge put in and try to build out some of these cabinets, see where else we end up. But honestly, I think we all know that the only thing we can do is just start working on it because yeah, we've been staring at it for too long. If you remember previously, we had a couch right here that pulled out. Now we made it a permanent bed. Storage is on this side. Solar system's gonna be back on that side. So what I first thing I need to do before I start getting the top kind of cut out is finish out these box areas because uh, I need to plate the inside of this, outside of this, and then over here, plate the inside and outside of this, so at least then this side of the couch is done and kind of screwed together. Then we can put the top back on, and my plan at that point would be to get a beam put in on this side so that it has something to put the hinge on so it can kind of, you know, have some strength to flipping. And then the bed's mostly pretty much done. We might start getting into the solar a little bit because this right here is a mess, but we'll see. At least if I get it labeled up and figure out exactly what I want to do, I think we're going to throw possibly a couple batteries in here and then, yeah, we'll see. The inside casing is officially done. Uh, I did this box, the inside face, inside face, inside face, and inside face. That took way longer than I thought, but that's okay, it's done. Uh, I still gotta do this back section right here. I'm gonna wrap this and then I'm gonna cap, uh, throw one sheet in on the inside of this part, and then I think we can cut the bed top, put the hinge in and get going. All right, let's get to the back part. All right, I got the couch completely framed out, at least like the inside and side pieces. My friend Jason just showed up. Uh, him and Allison are gonna be up here for the summer, so I think you're gonna be seeing Jason in a few more of the videos uh, as the summer keeps going on. Well, next thing on the list is gonna be rimming out the top of here. Um, I wanna cover all of the kind of like gaps and you know, two by fours and two by threes, and then we'll get our you know hinge and everything put on. So uh, we're gonna do some kind of finish molding all around. Jason's gonna sand, there you go. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start cutting. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> thing take a saw uh, like any of these chop saws mm -hmm. take it put the blade down push against the blade lift up put back down it's a perfect 16th all right now we're just gonna sand so i got the back the back area completely framed out down there we have to put a door on it still and then i still have to frame out this one up here what i want to do is try to get the bed on just so that i can get the platform kind of figured out and centered. So I've got these uh, skinnier quarter inch pieces that are gonna be kind of top capping everything so we don't have to look at these really wonderful two by threes like we were talking about before. Um, but yeah, it's uh, this is definitely like step one, step two, step three, step one. Because uh, every time I try to do something, I find something that needs to be done before I can finish that piece of molding. Um, such as this piece right here, which I have, I just gotta cut and trim. Then we can put this one in, then we can put that one in, then we can put that one in. If that makes sense, the whole one, two, three, four, and then one, and then uh, Pikachu. I don't think you know how to count. Oh, dude, it's all backwards. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> no, it never goes that direction, G. Everything takes 10 minutes, remember? Yeah, tell me about it, freaking rain guard. God. Yeah, he's been working on his bus for like a long time. Well, so high. Well, I can't even yell at him. I've been doing three years on this thing. <laughs> hey, do you know that as long as you finish your bus within the next two years, you still beat me on this one? Yeah. Well, you got time then. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. Why are you worried? Well, I'm not worried. I feel like you're more worried. Are you trying to kick me out? N no. 
Then why are you give why are you saying I have a two year time limit? No, it's funny that this bus took forever. <laughs> I'm admitting it. <laughs> I'm trying to be snarky, but I can't come up with anything right now. Because it's true. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just wish he was focused. Ah! Alright, I'm just moving on to the last piece here. And I just have to get one more cut. I think, yeah. So that's gonna work. And then I just gotta cut it because it's a little long. So I gotta get a pencil or something. I'm always mispacing my pencils. I got all the pieces cut and Jeet just got off of work, so it's time for dinner. So we're gonna head back to the bus, show you guys what's going on back there. Jason and Allison showed up, so they're gonna be hanging out for a little bit. Jeet, you just made her pee. Have that effect on the ladies. Oh my gosh. Uh, when we get back from dinner, Jeet said he would help me on the bus to finish it up really quick. Not the whole thing, just the couch. And then we're gonna get over to his bus. Dinner is over. Thank you, Allison and Jason, for making some shepherd's pie. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the shop, get back on that couch. Jeet's gonna start welding on his bus in the background, so he'll probably be in and out. We just test fit the top part of the bed because everything else is now cased and framed. Definitely still sanding to happen, but that's all just gonna happen a bit later. Uh, right now, Jason and I are gonna start edge banding these two pieces, which are the bed top pieces, and then we can finish those up, put the hinges in, tie up most of the molding. I think we could pretty much like put the top on and finish it. And if we finish this quick, we might go see what Jeet's up to after work, because I can hear the grinder going. Alright, the bed platform is cut, that one's glued and nailed, that one's glued and nailed. This one is the part that flips, so we gotta now put the hinge on it. Uh, so this guy is just a normal piano hinge, you gotta cut it to length. So we'll cut it down there and then just screw it into both sides and then believe it or not, this thing is pretty much done. And just before any of you keyboard warriors want to start typing about how I didn't put holes or any type of ventilation in this bed and I'm going to get mold on my, at my, my mattress and all that kind of stuff, uh, we'll solve that in another video. So save your comments for another video. Okay, so we're going to get this thing cut and Jason's doing an awesome job. Thanks for catching all the mistakes I almost made that were off camera that you totally helped me fix. Let's get a good camera Jason set up here. We'll lift it, and hopefully it lifts with no issue, it doesn't hit anything, and then we can final up all the screws. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh, look oh at that. Oh my gosh, we did it. it. Took way longer than I wanted to, but I think it turned out exactly how we wanted. So, thanks Jason for uh, you know all of your help. Thanks, Jeet, for all of your jokes, and thanks, Allison, for all your support. You guys didn't really meet Allison yet. You will meet Allison. She was in the background the whole time. Uh, besides that, bed's done. Now we see the mattress. Next video, I think it's move on to cabinets or something else, or bathroom, or maybe we just give up and go back to Jeet's bus. I like that idea. Yeah, I don't. <laughs>